Hello everyone, long time no see or not heard. I had some time off the last couple of weeks. I needed to take care of a couple of things. That's why I didn't post any new videos, you know, as it is, you know how it is, life happens. I've got something special today for you. I finished another sign set today and instead of making uh, lots of photographs I thought let's do a video about it. Here Torrent of Souls it's the last card that arrived today. Extremely rare since uh, Ian Edward Ameling only did this card, so and since it's not such a, a highly play, a highly played one, it's one of the reasons why uh, not a lot of signed versions are out there. So let's jump in. Shadow Maw, large set, three hundred and two cards. So let's dig in. Starting off with white, special mentions here, we have the Boon Reflections, signed by both uh, Ron Spencer and Terry Nielsen. I don't know if you know that, they're siblings, it's quite cool, getting, uh, they worked on I think all the five Boons in Shadow Moor together. Here we have also something special. We have an altar from Jack Lucas on the Great Ormond Sea. There is something special about Shadow Moor personally for me. It was the first set when I returned from my 10 year hiatus. Yeah, it's. Uh, I really like the mechanics and the tone of the of the set. It's really quite cool. Here we have uh, Brandon Kitkowski. Uh, I think I'm the only one in the world who has signed cards by him. Because uh, in the early days when the set came out, I contacted all the artists asked if I could send them some cards to be signed, asked of course I would include a tip, a nice letter and everything, most of them agreed, also Brandon agreed, uh, we had quite a, a good exchange I think up until Shards of Alara I think and then one of the envelopes got lost and that caused Brandon to abandon all the, the signed to, to sign cards for people and still to this day I told him hey Brandon it's not a problem don't worry about it um, but he won't sign any more cards I also think he he started a new job back then, I think at the time when he when the, the envelope got lost, I think he started working at uh, ID Software, the guys that uh, created Doom. Yeah, so I'm very sorry about this, I feel a bit responsible. Yes, I know I have the card signed by him, not all, not not everything I want to have signed by him, it's, and, but it, I know it's a first world problem and I'm really sorry about this. That uh, my, um, yeah, my envelope caused this whole struggle. Then of course Chippy, also one of the, uh, the ones that don't like signing cards, he used to sign. Uh, but extremely rarely. So I think once a year he did. He did. Uh, he signed all the envelopes that he had at home. But he moved. 
he moved on and he's declined all requests for signatures even though people would pay ridiculous amounts of money to sign to have signed cards by him I really like the art it's different it's again with today's art in today's set for me it looks bland oh look everything looks the same here it's really colorful even though I know most of them are digital as well but it's much more soul in there another jippy Richard Kane Ferguson uh, he, uh, he used to sign I think in the batch that I got this one he signed all the cards that, are, that, that, that were sent uh, differently, completely different you will see a couple of examples in here Vora May, uh, a New Zealand local, a Kiwi, a uh, very nice guy. I, I remember when I contacted him, I think I, I was the first to contact him about signing cards. And uh, he had a very special request when I sent him the cards. He, he asked if I could send him uh, some Swiss chocolate along with the uh, with the cards to be signed so that I c uh, so that his kids have something so I created or I sent him some uh, uh, local chocolate bars I haven't heard anything so I think they were okay or good or very good here uh, Wayne England uh, Tragic, he passed away, I think, uh, in uh, 2016. So, also quite uh, a signature hard to get. Mike Dringenberg is mainly a comic book artist and not, and not a, a, magic, a magic artist. He, he did a couple of, uh, I think, Shadow Moor, Eventide. I'm not sure about if he did something in Alara, maybe in Time Spiral, but not a lot. But he did a couple of cards and they look fantastic. Howard Lyon, a really cool signature. EM Gist, minimalistic. Here again, the fold at uh, the Reflection, fault, reflection, also double sign. Ron Brown. Jason Chan, also hard to get. Now I think he signs either via Mark or and or Jack. So it makes life a bit easier for the sign car collectors. Dave also, but I remember it was very hard to get him signed, I think. He's also now a regular with, with Mark, I think. Carl Critchlow, same. Here another Chuck Lucas altar. Sultan and Gabor. Eric Fortune, signed here, black on black. I really hope they return to that plane at some stage and keep the uh, the art and the feeling of the plane as is because it's really cool with the, the Sickle Ripper smoldering initiate bad card but it's really cool Cyril van der Hagen unique sick Here, Trevor Hare sign. Also, I think he's mainly a comic book artist. Uh, it's a very yeah, funny story because 
he, he doesn't reply to emails or mailings or anything. Uh, but in one of the Facebook groups about sign cards, somebody uh, saw that Trevor would attend a, a convention in England outside of, of London. Then there was a panic who can go, who had the possibility and a couple of people uh, made it happen. I don't think a lot of cards have been signed but I, I got my set signed so all, uh, all the cards I needed from Trevor. Uh, but it would be great if something like a, a, a signature service for Trevor would be uh, set up because cards like Fra Fla uh, Flame, Javelin, they would be great and uh, they're sought after. Smash the smithereens. Here you see another Rich Kane Ferguson, the star in gold. Another Dringenberg, Kitowski, Dave Kandel. I remember this DK from back when I was in my teens and hearing punk music. There was a group called uh, Dead Kennedys. So they, uh, their uh, logo, their band logo was the DK, something like this. Might be a coincidence. I don't know. Richard Withers also quite rare since he didn't do a, a lot of cards. Jeremy Jarvis, not a reflection, double signed. And of course, Drew Tucker. I think he's the only one back from the original, from the original set, who got the opportunity to uh, do a couple more cards in even, I think, in Shadow Moore and even Tide. John Avon. Swans of Bryn Argyll. I really like the card. I also like the effect, but apparently it's very bad. Nobody plays it. Or it's not bad. It's only there is more stuff that's better to play. Another chippy. Also, Omar Regen. He has a very unique signature. Jesper Acing. Here the, the normal card in the set, here the, I think it was pre-release, the pre-release card, here another Richard Kane Ferguson, Fulminate, Fulminator Mage, a card I, that got ridiculously expensive. Spiteful Vision, Nebogad Ram Gang, 
we used to play the hell out of it during draft. Really cool card, powerful, unlimited, also fire spells. Fantastic. Monomorphose. <coughs> Excuse me. The Vexing Shusher. Kitchen things. I think it's still a five to ten dollar card, right? Brutal. And the Heart Mender. So good. The two combined. Insane and limited. This one. Fantastic, I remember, I think I had this particular card, this the foil, the foil one uh, I had during a, a draft, it was my first pick. I dominated that draft. Good times due to this card. Also this guy here, the Wilt Leaf, Leech. And of course, the Cavaliers. Then the artifacts. Painter Servant, Reaper King, Grim Poppet. Watching Scarecrow, Chuck Lucas again with the with an altar. And then of course the lands, Graven Caverns. I have to say I like the original, the one from Future Side more. But of course this is great as well. Another Brandon Kitowski. Reflecting pool, sunken ruins, then the basics. So that's it. That was the signed, the completely signed Shadow Moor sets. It's my 18th I, uh, completely signed set. I have a couple of more sets of course to show you. They might not be as exciting if you're looking for the sets with the plus hundred dollar cards or extremely rare ones. Not talking about rare signatures but rare cards overall yeah I'm not sure I think I continue with uh, the beta I still wait for a couple of cards that I have with uh, the artists to be altered so um, I'm not sure which color of beta I can really show you to, to make it your worth your time. I have to think about that, but maybe uh, drop me a comment uh, on this video on what you would like to see. And if you like that sort of thing, when I tell you a bit about the story of certain cards or how I got the, uh, the card signed or why a whom and why, or if it just Shut the hell up guy, show us the cards and be done with it. Fair enough, let me know what you think. Thanks a lot and till next time, bye bye.